Lots of uh, shot glasses today. Cherubs and shot glasses. And bells. Welcome to Goodwill. Well, it is a beautiful day, and we are here in Middletown, Maryland. We're about to head into this Goodwill and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so we're starting in figurines. This is a really fun mask. <laughs> a little bit of paint wear there on the nose, though. Nice turned wood. I love this little guy. This was here last week. It's made in China. It's sweet as well. Oh my gosh, look at this cat. I love this so much. <laughs> and 49 cents. I'm gonna move this bird out of the way before he falls off the shelf. Can you sit back there, bird? Um, oh, first let's grab this. What is this? It's $4.49 and it's missing missing its rear end. So forget that. Let's grab this. I really love that. I just noticed this puppy in the back. That is super cute. Oh my gosh, look at him. <laughs> His eyes are so close together, but it's adorable. Oh my goodness. I wish there was two of those, but I only see one. That looks like it has some age. Ooh, pretty heavy. Maybe the underplate to a planner. I don't know. I think I'm going to grab this puppy. I do wish there was another one, but um, I know a lot of people just use single bookends to prop it up against a shelf. So we'll grab that anyway. Um, <laughs> there's a Scully. No, that's the other one. What's his name? Laurel's been obsessed with that movie, and I can't even remember the monster's name. Wazowski? Is that it? Like Wazowski? <laughs> that's pretty down there. What is that? Is that Studio Potter? Of course it is. Seems to be the only thing we can find these days that's not overpriced. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kinda like that. Can't tell though if it's studio pottery or what's going on there. I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I'm gonna go this way. That's kinda nice. What is that? It's like a shell of some sort. There are some fun beer mugs. Cerveza. Pretty sure that means beer. I like the looks of whatever that is. Let's do a little digging down there. That's pretty. It's marked on the bottom. AS91. Pretty swirl to it. $8.49. I think I might grab that. These are kind of cute. Those look like they go with those uh, cerveza mugs, but they are also chipped up, so that's not going to do me any good. I'm not really seeing much today at this Goodwill. I think I might move on to the next one. I don't know. That's pretty good, though. I really like that cat. I feel like that cat is pretty great. We'll check over here one last time. I actually didn't look too closely at the crystal, so I do want to take another peek at the crystal. I've had decent luck in the crystal in the past. Yeah, probably does not glow. That's pretty. There's Mars. Copeland. Block and from the east. Hmm. It's pretty. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up though. All right, here we are in the crystal. That thing's super heavy. Ooh, it's almost dangerous to pick it up one-handed. That looks like it's cut. Nice polished bottom, no markings. It was probably um, had a silver top that they took off of it. Would be my guess. So the top is now gone. That looks fancy. <laughs> Somebody's having fun back there. All right, well, 
Maybe we'll swing through the artwork. Not that I need to. I don't need artwork, but we'll swing through on our way out. These are always fun prints. I can't remember exactly who makes them. Um, but those look like reproduction prints. Okay, there it is. Blue one. $7.49 each. I also really don't want to deal with them. <laughs> so I'm going to leave them. Squeeze the day. Lovely day for a Guinness. Looks like a reproduction. Yeah. It's really cute with the toucan, isn't it? Alright. I think on that note, we are going to go check out and move on to the next Goodwill. So, I will see you there. Three things. <laughs> Not small things at all. But, um, they should sell well. Okay, well our total spend there at the Middletown Goodwill was just $22. We got three things. The cat was kind of cool. But they were mostly big things that I'll probably mostly sell through my booth. <laughs> I don't know, that dog book ad, that'll probably go on knickknacks. Uh, but anyway, I've moved on now. I am here at the West Patrick Street Goodwill. We're gonna head in here and hope that we can redeem ourselves. So let's go in and see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, let's see what we can find. I'm surprised there's uh, not very many people here today. There's a little sugar egg. Those are always fun to find. That one's pretty beat up though. Um, this is Ireland pottery made in England. Wait, Ireland, I'm pretty sure that says Ireland. Um, great little cherubs. Lots of little cherubs today, but those look like the Dollar General cherubs. I don't usually pick those up for resale. There's a toucan. Maybe of wood. And we have four forty nine on that. Um, I think I really want to pick him up. Pineapple. Lots of cherubs. Somebody must have had a collection of cherubs that they didn't want any longer. That, whatever that is, is super cute, but it's $9.49. A little shot glass with a lemon on it. Probably for lemoncello, right? That would be my assumption. When I was in Italy, though, that was like, I never knew that was a thing. And then everyone's like, lemoncello. Like, they couldn't, like, we couldn't really communicate because most of them just spoke Italian. But, like, they, they got out the lemoncello and it was like this chant, like, lemoncello. And I was like... What is, what is a limoncello? And then I found out what that was. <laughs> Lots of uh, shot glasses today. Cherubs and shot glasses. And bells. Welcome to Goodwill. That looks like it. It's a reproduction. Um, what do they call that? There's a name for the reproduction stuff. It's not restoration. It's not reproduction. It's something. I can't remember the name of it. But they've got 949 on it, so... I don't really want that. <laughs> so we're gonna go this way. It's called Recollection. I think that's what it's called. I think they call it Recollection. That's like their version of like reproduction. What in the world is this large bulbous thing? <laughs> it's really heavy. There's a random plate. That is, oh, Bavaria. Schumann US Zone. Not bad, it's $2.49. I don't know though. I'm gonna leave it. There's a little bit of money to be made there, but I guess I'm being a little bit picky. I'm gonna be a little picky. A lot of stuff to go through. Oh my gosh, I love these. I already have a set of these currently, and I feel like adding two more to that set would not be the worst thing in the world because they are so fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab two more. There is some scuffing on them, but I think those are so great for summer. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> Ta-da! What do we have down here? Fused glass. That's kind of exciting. Um, and this is Winter Harbor, Maine. So that doesn't count towards my, uh, my Massachusetts where in the world train. Because it is New England, but it's Maine. It's still really pretty. <laughs> I love it. This little chick thing is really adorable. There's no markings on it. I can't tell if that's vintage or not. Whatever it is, it's got lots of schmutz on it. Kind of a gross, like, orange schmutz. <laughs> this looks like Boots and Floyd. Um, 
I'm gonna really steal a whole lot down there. I don't know. I guess I'll get back to you guys when I find something. I like the looks of that platter back there. I wonder where that is made. Ooh, now I'm knocking everything down. Um, there's no markings on it, but it does have a giant chip out of the side. So I guess it doesn't really matter where it's made. We're gonna leave it behind. There's a cute little piggy bank. <laughs> it's probably Japan, I would think, right? I don't know. Got a cute little bud. I kind of really like this pig. I think because it's smiling. It's four dollars and forty-nine cents. Mmm. I think we're gonna grab it. I don't need the pig, but I kind of like the colorful florals of the pig. And then this is a nice looking plate. That is Bavaria, Germany. It's just a single though. I was walking by this bag and I saw that from behind. That looks like a target bird, 2017. <laughs> I'd love to see the front view of that. Um, yeah, he looks clean. Who is he? Usually it says on the tag. What is your name, little guy? What is your name? So these target birds, on average, are worth about 25 bucks, but some are worth more than others. All right, in the case of this target bird, it's worth less than others. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put it back. Looks like one sold for six bucks and then one sold for 20 best offer accepted. Well, I mean it sold for less than 20 because it was best offer accepted. So this is not a winner. We're gonna put it back on the shelf. Sometimes if you find like the full set of that year, you can be in pretty good shape. Um, but yeah, we're gonna leave that behind. All right, I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna do one more scan of the shelves because I just did them one time. And, but that's not a bad little haul. I'm kind of pleased with that. There's a cute little vase for $4.49. Uh, looks like 1940s, 1930s maybe. Um, I think I'm gonna grab that. It's not marked on the bottom. And I just noticed that in the back. That is genuine not stoneware. Hmm. Kind of like that. What is it? Nagoya, Japan. Oh, it's 1749. Ooh, wee. Maybe not. <laughs> and that on the bottom looks not as interesting as I was hoping. That's kind of a fun wall hanging. That reminds me of an artist. I can't remember her name. It's $3.49. I'm tempted to grab that. Kind of primitive in style. I was also kind of smitten with this box. <laughs> it's decoupage. Phyllis made this. She signed it. She did. I think she did a really nice job. Three forty nine. Should I just grab it? I, I like it. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna grab it. I think we have a theme today. We have kind of a floral theme. We have a floral theme, and then we have an angel. What is this? Are those birds? Oh, they are. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Odd birds, they're odd birds. Look at them, this one has a broken tail. Why do you have a broken tail, my friend? He's also got a broken head. <gasps> this would've been so perfect. I would've taken this with me and loved it forever. I feel like I still can. <laughs> He's so good. He's not even, the artist didn't even sign him. Why would you not sign him? Here, I feel like we could glue some feathers on his butt. There you go, I just reached through the shelves and found this Royal Tara. Um, this is this is also Ireland, I believe, right? Yeah, Galloway, Ireland, $7.49. That's actually really exciting. I think that could do pretty well. We're gonna stick that in the cart. That's a cute little mug down there. PMC China. Got a floral <laughs> lid. Oh, there's two of them, too. I don't know them. Oh, see China. Those are cute, aren't they? Maybe a pair of mugs. I like that they have the lid. I probably wouldn't have picked, picked them up otherwise, but um, I think I will I'll grab those. As long as uh, when I lift up the lid, there's no damage underneath. Sometimes the lids can seal damage, but that one looks good. And does this one look good? You may not know because it's taped down pretty good. <laughs> it looks good though. So I think we've got two mugs now. 
I guess the longer we hang out here, the more stuff we're gonna end up with. There is a doll down here. That I, want. I know, a doll. She's really pretty. I feel like she's probably a souvenir from somewhere. I just feel like she's really nicely made. There's one of those creepy faceless dolls. A lot of porcelain dolls, not really my thing. Those are Cole's Easter. <laughs> I always, I mean, I think this is like the third time I've looked at these made in China rabbits. For some reason, I'm just really attracted to the coloring on those. I don't know why. There's three of them there, but I'm going to leave them again because I just don't think they have very much value. They're very lightweight, and I just don't think they have um, a very good quality to them. That's a pretty tile. That looks like it's Italian. Oh, no, it's made in Tunisia. Wow. kind of looks like a bird cage. That's why I like it. It looks like a fancy bird cage. All right, well, I'm going to circle around here and see if there's anything in the lamps. But other than that, I feel like um, I'm going to wrap this up. Here are the lamps. I don't come over here very often because I've just never, I've never had luck in these lamps. So it's just never been a thing. But I say that today, and today is going to be the day. Looks like there's a pretty cool looking lamp right here. And check out this bottle. That's awesome. What is that? <laughs> Is that an actual bottle that somebody turned into a light? I don't know, that's pretty neat. I might look that one up. Stick that in my cart for a second and look it up. It wouldn't be too hard to show. And this is really neat. This reminds me of like, I Dream of Genie. Of course it's made of chalkware and it's got a lot of shipping on it. So that's a pretty easy repair, but I don't have the time for it. So maybe somebody else who sees it and wants it for themselves will have the time for it. Okay, so I'm looking on eBay currently. There are none sold. There's three listed. It looks like they're asking around $30. Since there's no sold, there's three available for about $30. I'd have to list mine at like $25 to be the lowest price one and to possibly make a sale. Um, I don't know if I really want to mess with it. It doesn't really excite me. So I think I'm going to leave it behind. It's cool. I'm just not excited about it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on the shelf. On that note, I'm going to push my cart up to the checkout. Um, $3.43. That looks like it could carry my stuff to the car. They don't do bags here anymore, and of course, I'm never prepared. So, <laughs> this will just have to do. We will uh, we'll carry our stuff to the car in that beautiful pink basket. All right. Well, I just got back out to the car. It's gorgeous and sunny outside, and there's like this freak <laughs> rainstorm. It's pouring. <laughs> crazy um anyway our total spend was 74 dollars and i feel like we did pretty well today i'm excited with all of our finds um I, I guess we kind of went in the way of a floral theme they just started jumping into the cart and i was like i'm gonna accept it for what it is um yeah i think that was great that royal Terra was pretty exciting i haven't had that in a while um i love finding that stuff but um on that note i'm gonna head off to the next goodwill you guys are gonna have to wait for that video um and uh i guess i'll see you tomorrow so long